think it's very handy to start with doing the script um, and you can do any fonts and practice um, with any you like. Now I've just got a basic um, font here that I've got off a site called Dafont. Um, and I think it's just good practice to start with script because that will most likely be what you start out tattooing. It's what I did and it really helps with practicing your line work and if you could do loads of different um, variations of names and stuff like that um, it'll be really good for getting your lines nice and neat and clean. So what I've got out here is a five liner, just a standard five liner and a 14 round shader. Now the five liner I'll be using mainly to line all of it. The 14 round shader um, which is quite different a lot of people you can just use a liner but I like the 14 round shader to colour it in and get it nice and saturated. I find it's like the perfect tool to be colouring um, just to make it really decent. So we're going to start with the 5 liner Now I'm on around 11 to 11 and a half volts here. I don't know if you can see that totally. But I've got that sticking out quite far. When I'm doing lining and especially script, I like to have the needle hanging right out. And that's just so I can see um, like a lot of what I'm doing. And I find with the needle right out, you don't get as much ink um, that that comes out. So, because with, with it being further back in, um, when you go to line, it you'll you'll notice you'll get blobs of ink um, that'll come out, and you won't be able to see your line as clear. Now it is just preference, um, but I find especially for more thin lines, I like to have it hanging out quite far. We're just going to dab away there. I mean, don't worry too much about the lines being absolutely perfect um, as you go. You get a feel for the depth, and uh, you can see here already where the line isn't quite fully in. And I'm not going to even touch that yet. I'd much rather just try and get the whole thing on, and even if little bits are light, that's absolutely fine. Um, and we'll come back to those. You will get a feel of of what um, goes in better, and you'll you'll start to feel that perfect depth of the line being spot on. Another little trick as well. When you're doing the lines and you come into the end of a line, if you can just kind of bring ease it up as you're coming out, and that way you don't. If you imagine the needle as it's going and you come to the end of a line, it's just going to be hitting the same spot at the end, which will give you little blobs at the end of your lines. So if you can just kind of ease it in and ease it out as you're going, you won't get a sudden stop on the lines and they'll finish a lot sharper. I also find as well, the machine will do all the work. You don't need to press down, um, you just literally ease in and ease out and let, let the machine do its, do its job. Now 
how as well I always start on the right side and and go go almost backwards on the right in and that helps with not rubbing off the stencil as we go And there is two ways to do the lines as well. So you can either run against the needle, like push it forward, and the, the needles, you know, it, it almost gets twice the amount of ink in if you go in forward and push, like pushing the needle, or you, or like I, I prefer to pull the needle. But it's just literally, like as you see then, I'm pushing, and it's just whichever way I find comfortable to do each letter so whichever whichever way I'll get the nicest most clean line and there's some parts like that can be a little bit awkward or you won't feel like you're gonna have a steady hand doing that part and I will literally I'll hold my finger on my other hand and it'll just give me that that perfect um, almost movement to my hand. You can see now I'm just literally putting my finger on my hand and that's just giving me a little bit more balance and if you just keep moving it round you know until you feel comfortable
So there we have all the lines in and now we're going to use the 14 round shader and as you can see there's a few little bits just here and there which I'm not even worrying about yet I'll come back to those. I'd much rather have bits that are too light that I can go over than bits that are way too heavy you know that on a real skin it would blow out and now you can use the 14 round shader not only to colour in the lines but also to thicken up lines so especially with a lot of other designs you want different um, thicknesses on the lines or parts that go thick to thin um, so with the 14 round shader you could line and then literally go over the line really slowly and it'll thicken up and that would just be the same technique that I'm going to use now to colour in now this also is literally just preference um, I like to go more in a, in a back and forward sideways technique to colour it in but you can also go in little circles as well like that and you want it just really nice and slow colouring in making sure that black is nice and packed in there and you're getting right up to the edges on the lines and as we're coming to the bottom I'm almost going to turn the needle just on its side a little bit and more a little bit lighter just to flick it out because we will be coming back in with the liner and just getting things right up to the edges and any little bits that we can neaten up we will same again just that little sideways back and forth movement and, and the parts where you want to get more into the corners I will literally just turn it on its side a little bit and as I said don't worry too much about getting it all completely coloured in or anything first time because on real skin when you tattoo in a customer um, you don't want to over irritate in the skin or any parts that are going to blow out now you can see in the corners I'm just gently, gently brushing it in and that's just to almost see where the needles land in and then when I'm confident enough that it's in the right place I'll go a little bit more deeper and really colour it in now you will have some parts that are really small um, to get up to and that's fine, just do what you can do with the round shader and then we'll be coming back to any of those parts with the liner so it's almost like a, a three step process And obviously the more that you practice the more you'll get a feel for getting that perfect line
Now, depending on the size of the script, you might want to use different needles. So this is, I'd say, a medium size, and anything smaller than this, I would probably use a three liner. Um, but anything above, you know, you might want to use a seven or a nine liner. Um, now the the fourteen round shader is it, that's one of the biggest round shaders that you can use. Um, so anything smaller than this in the script, I'd probably just use the liner to colour it in. Um, and anything bigger, I'd, I'd, I'd probably still use the 14 round shader. Right, so now that we've done the colour in it in the middle, I'm going to give it a wipe and see how it's looking. And that's exactly how I'm wanting it. And you'll notice there is little bits in the corners there's little bits on the lines that need going over, but that's fine. Um, and then what we're aiming for now is to just get it as neat as possible and just going over some of the lines um, where needs it, you know, blending it into where the shading, the colouring is. So any parts that are going to be too small for the round shader and where it comes up to meet the lines we're going to get them and we're just going to thicken up and neaten up any lines that we can see. Okay, so now that we have um, the colouring in, we're going to go in with the liner and we're just going to neaten up um, and go over any bits that we can see where needs it. Any parts that we can't get to with the round shader um, or where we need to blend up into the lines, that's what we're going to do now. And you see where we've coloured in and then as it comes into the line, that's where I like to just go in and blend it over into the line and just connect it up and make it nice and neat. Um, where, where we pull up into the part that's coloured with the round shader, we're, gonna, we're not going as deep with the liner, we're going to more brush on the top, you know, to colour it in. Um, and that's just so we don't overwork the skin when it comes to real skin on a customer. And then as it comes down into the line, you'll see I'm brushing now and just almost skimming the top, but a little bit, you know, a little bit deeper. And then as you're coming down into the line, you're gonna go into the line. And then again, just flick it out into that black and that just makes it nice and perfect. I'm just getting into these little corners here and then up to any edges that I can't get to. Do the same again, just little flicks in. I 
and we've got a part here that I haven't coloured in and that's just a really small part and that's I'm going to use the same technique again with the liner as I did with the round shader just to colour that in so little sideways movements and getting the edges um, nice and sharp that's a really important part as well and that's just flicking it out and getting a nice sharp point at the end of the letters Obviously there is some parts where I, I would like it to go from thick to thin So on here on the air You know, I'll start here and just rub it in And then I'm going a little bit deeper and as I come down there I'll just gradually lift the needle up and that'll just get thinner as it comes as it comes to the end Now the more that the needle is in on the skin, um, the thicker the line will be. Um, I mean with a 5 liner and with most needles, um, I could make a 5 liner look like a 3 or you know if I pressed a little bit more I could make it look more like a 7. And now the more that you, you tilt the needle up um, the thinner the line will be and more sharp and the more that you, you have it on its edge you know it will get a little bit thicker I like it just at a little bit of an angle so I can see Now as you can see I'm going over literally most of the writing and the first pass that I've done over I haven't put it in too harsh because um, when you're tattooing on real people I tend to find that different body parts can be different for the lining um, so some places would tend to blow out really easily um, and go in a lot faster whereas other parts might be really stubborn this way the stencil is more likely to stay on um, and I find it easier just to get that almost like that practice running and it gets um, just things right for me I suppose I've always found it heals better that way for me and it looks a lot sharper and neater at the end
Right, we're going to give it a wipe again. And this will be the final check just to see if everything is spot on and if there's any little bits that we can get or sharpen up now would be the time now I think with the fake skin it does line in very easily it gives you a little idea of how real skin would be um, but it does really fly in so you've just got to be wary of that um, when you do tattoo people um, it will go in a lot faster and a lot different to the real skin and I mean you'll slowly get your technique down to get in that line in exactly how it needs to be and I think that's pretty close on the real skin. Well, that is looking good. I've literally just got a few tiny bits that I can see just here and there, um, which I'll grab them. And now if there is any parts, especially on the middle of some of the lines, um, like I said previously, you don't want to just stick your needle in and then start going. You almost want to ease it in, then go, and then up again and bring it out. Um, and that'll just help from, you know, getting any blobs anywhere or parts that are lines that are too thick. And there we have it, we are done. Now I think that script is absolutely perfect to be practicing with and getting your lines spot on. Um, different sizes, different lines thicknesses, you've got everything in there to get your lines perfect. I think the best practice for your lines um, is the script and that'll be what would be good for getting customers and what you would start out with and even drawing the script um, is perfect that would be my go-to thing to get my lines spot on and it's really good practice Now there's a few different techniques in there which I've uh, spoke about and, and taught through but with a lot of different sized scripts you'll be able to get a lot more practice with those techniques and really nailing them down. I think the more you do and the more variations of different script you do uh, it will really help you lining. 